Imagine creating content for your website using AI inside your page builder. This is your headlines, your content, even your product descriptions using AI in your page builder. Can you imagine using CSS in your page builder generated by AI? This is what Elemento announced yesterday in their roadmap. This is mind blowing. It's really got me excited and I really have to talk about this. Okay, so the idea here is AI and Elemental now has been integrated so that you can actually use it in the actual page builder. So this for someone who is uh, creating websites who mainly focuses on just the aesthetics can now use commands to tell ChatGPT to give you headline suggestions, body copy, and also any other parts of the website. And also, you can do translations. Let's talk about this. In this first example, you can see that AI is being used to generate the heading of this part of the website. Here, it's also being used to generate the description of that part of our website as well. And this is also using AI. But what's interesting now is we can actually tell AI to shorten this description as well if it's too long. So this will further summarize it. Look at that. You see, for me personally, creating uh, content for my website is a really stumbling block for me. I'm not a copywriter. So this is why even my current website right now doesn't have very good descriptions because I need to employ a copywriter to do a very good job for me to do that. But with this technology now, I can just give ChatGPT my suggestions of, let's say, my headlines for my products, for my landing pages, uh, pretty much anything. And this is going to give me a starting point and sometimes it even gets it right. In this example, ChatGPT is being used to translate words into a different language. Out of the box, what I'm thinking right now is, Perhaps you can set your website in such a way that if people from a specific country are visiting, then show that language. So this can take away the need for translation uh, plugins. But of course, I know you have to do even more work in order for you to achieve this because the translation plugins can just translate the whole website. But this is really, really cool, especially if you know two languages or you have a team of members that can really tweak that language uh, to make it match whatever it is uh, you're translating from this is going to be really, really exciting. So what is the future for small business owners and agencies? Can you imagine like agencies where your client asks you to design a website and you have to employ a copywriter to do this? Pretty much the copywriter now is out of the equation because ChatGPT does a fantastic job. In fact, I've been playing around with ChatGPT4. I've got the subscription and it is mind blowing what you can come up with. In fact, I'll be creating uh, quite a lot of content showing you how to use ChatGPT to help you create your content for your website. Now, you see, I'm not a developer and uh, every time I start seeing code, my head just goes, just starts spinning. So having code with AI inside Elemento, I think this is really, really, really a game changer because now you can just go in into a specific module, give it instructions, and then generate the CSS code for you and put it in the CSX box. That is really, really exciting. So I can see myself uh, creating a lot of templates with uh, custom CSS code. And this again is going to make our websites look unique because we're not just using out of the box modules that come with our page builder. So this in itself is really, really amazing for me because there are situations where sometimes I need to make minor tweaks and uh, move things around a little bit. So for that, I would have to go look for the code and add it in. But now this is within the page builder. Of course, this has not been released yet, but just looking at the demo, this is fantastic stuff. Now I'm really hoping that this implementation of uh, ChatGPT with uh, Elemento is going to be in such a way that you just add your API key and then it connects with your account. Because if we have to pay extra money to use this feature, I don't think that's going to go down very well with a lot of um, web designers out there. I mean, if they can implement it that way, this is going to be really, really exciting. And also, ChatGPT now is on uh, version 4, which is what I use. I'm actually uh, paying for it. And so far, after playing around with it, it is really amazing the results it can come up with and also um, the suggestions and um, 
the content that it can produce. So having that incorporated in uh, the actual builder is going to be really exciting. And I hope uh, a lot of these page builders um, are taking a note of what Elementor is doing and also they need to improve theirs because this is going to be a major differentiator between Elementor, Divi, um, you know, and all the uh, bricks and all the other page builders out there. So it's going to be very exciting uh, to see what these page builders are going to do and how they're going to be implementing this into their own page builders as well for the future. But for now, this is amazing and I can't wait to uh, see this working in real life. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think this is something that's got you very exciting? Do you think that this is going to work really well as you're designing websites with uh, ChatGPT? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the video description below. I also have a course uh, that I'll be putting together very soon. It's going to be free. This is going to help uh, designers design their websites using uh, Flexbox. Again, this is another technology that I really like, which allows you to design um, complex websites and complex layouts just using Flexbox. The link to that is in the video description below. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. I'll keep you posted.